This is not financial advice. This is not legal advice. This is for entertainment and educational purpose only. Everything I say is my opinion. Uh, that being said, please do not make any financial decisions based on the information that I provide. Do your own due diligence, do your own research, and then make a decision that's best for yourself and your family. Okay, um, the entire system is corrupt. Uh, the hedges have their hands in everything, and they're able to even have a kind of control over the court system. And I just, I'm just going to explain to you what's going on with the lawsuit, and then you can make your own determinations. Please leave some comments. Tell me what y'all think. Um, subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification button so I can give you some updates. I just came from court. I, um, I, I filed some additional papers because there were some things going on, and I'm going to explain it to you, and just, just, just follow me. I'm going to try to explain, explain to you as simple as possible so that everybody can understand. Okay, this is how a lawsuit is supposed to work. Okay, first, you have to summon the complaint. You file a summons and complaint. You get it from the, 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 the clerk of the court gives you the summons. And then you have to serve the defendants. So once you serve the defendants, every, you can file preliminary injunctions and things of that nature. Now, that's only if necessary because a lot of times preliminary injunctions aren't necessary. But if you feel that the defendants are doing something that you're going to be, you're going to be, are like unequivocally harmed even more if they continue doing it while the lawsuit is pending. You can ask the courts to stop them from doing certain things while the lawsuit is pending. Okay, and that's what I did. I filed a preliminary injunction asking the court to stop them from trading AMC and GME shares in a dog pool until we get an accurate share count. Okay, now after the preliminary injunctions are filed and it, and then the defendants, they have to answer, and then the judge makes a, a decision. And then we're still moving forward with the lawsuit. Now, after that, the answer by the defendants, which means that the defendants have to answer the lawsuit. They have to say, well, yes, we agree to what he's accusing us of. No, we don't agree. And 99% of the times, they'll disagree with everything anybody says in the lawsuit. Okay. Now, after they answer and they go on the record, then what happens is they file motions to dismiss. Now, a motion to dismiss is kind of like a legal document where the defendants are going to allege that nothing that the plaintiff or myself says in the lawsuit is provable, is not supported by law, is not supported by evidence, that the way it's written is incorrect. So they will file a motion to dismiss. Now, once the motion to dismiss is filed, then the plaintiff, myself, or any other plaintiff has the opportunity to file a reply to the motion to dismiss. Now, once the reply to the motion to dismiss is in, then the judge makes a determination on whether or not he's going to agree with the motion to dismiss or he's going to deny the motion to dismiss. Once the court denies the motion to dismiss, what, what happens is the lawsuit moves forward. But what, what they call it in, in, in legal legalese, legal terms, they say the lawsuit has to survive the motion to dismiss. Okay? Now, if the lawsuit survives the motion to dismiss, that means the defendants filed the motion to dismiss and the judge said no. The judge denied it. So now we have a lawsuit. Now it's time for us to start what we call discovery. And discovery is where you get evidence from the opposing party. That's when, where they can ask me for evidence, where they can depose me where they can submit interrogatories, ask me for paperwork, ask me for just about anything they want, technically. And then, but they have to show a legal reason why they need that information. And then at some point, I can go into court and argue, well, that information is not necessary. Okay? And me, myself, as a plaintiff, I can submit interrogatories, requesting information, requesting documents. I can depose Ken Griffin. I can depose people from the SEC. I can depose people from the DTCC. I mean, I could depose people from Robin Hood. And that's, that's as the lawsuit moves forward. But this is the way it's supposed to work. You're supposed to have the, serv the summons and complaint, the service of the defendant, the preliminary injunctions, if necessary, the motion to dismiss. And if the lawsuit survives the motion to dismiss, then 
you get discovery. What they're doing to me in federal court in Florida is they're reversing these two. They're telling me that I have to do a discovery report before they even put a motion to dismiss it. That's like putting the cart before the horse. Because if they feel that they can survive that, let me rephrase, if they feel that my some of the complaint won't survive the motion to dismiss, then why are they? Why do they want discovery before the motion to dismiss? And as far as I'm concerned, it's because they don't think they can win on the merits of the case. They and because of, of this this discovery report that that they're putting before the motion to dismiss, the the lawsuit is kind of in limbo. The lawsuit is kind of in limbo. The preliminary injunction is in limbo. Uh, uh, until the discovery report is done. So what I had to do is I had to file a motion in court today asking the judge to obligate them to meet with me to, to put together this, this, this discovery report, this scheduling report. Because until this, this, this scheduling report is submitted to the court, the court won't hear the preliminary injunction and we won't even have the motion to dismiss. We won't have anything. Right now, the lawsuit is in limbo, and they're trying to avoid me. I sent them letters to meet with me so we could put this, this, this alleged, not alleged, this discovery reported, submitted to the court. It's called a joint uh, discovery report, a, a joint scheduling report. And I've been contacting them to put it together, and what they've been doing is delaying the report. Delaying the report. So I, I've had to ask the court to obligate them to meet with me. And hopefully the judge will grant my request. And then if they still don't meet with me after that, then I guess the judge will start issuing sanctions or issuing penalties or whatever else the judge feels is appropriate in this scenario. But it, it's absolutely crazy to me that, that they're able to put the discovery before the motion to dismiss. I mean, that that's just... Just outrageous to me. I, I've never seen that before. You do have the motion to dismiss, and if the lawsuit survives the, the motion to dismiss, then we go into discovery. It, it's kind of like they, they have so much control over everything in our lives that, that our only real recourse is to vote out the politicians that support these heavies, that support these market makers, and put politicians in place that are going to do what's right for the retail investor, do what's right for the small people, okay? So they can pass laws that support us, legislation that support us, um, appoint people to key positions that support us, okay? Not people that, that are paid by the hedges, not people who are ex-employees of the hedges and, and giving them big positions in the government. They're not going to look out for our interests. They're looking out for the interests of their former employer. They're looking for, out for the interests of, of, of their own pockets, of their own constituents. They're not looking out for the, 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 the interests of their constituents. Anyway, that's just a, a brief lawsuit update. Um, hopefully, I'll get an answer from the judge by, by next week, hopefully. By Tuesday, Wednesday, hopefully. Keep my fingers crossed. Anyway, subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Hit the notification button so you get any updates on, on the lawsuit or whatever I'm thinking at the time. Thank you very much. Have a great day.